Welcome to this demonstration of the Rational Team Concert Extended Rich Text feature. We'll begin by looking at some of the administrative tasks necessary to help you get started. The Extended Rich Text feature is disabled by default. So to get started with Extended Rich Text, your server administrator should navigate to the Jazz Admin UI, click Server, and then Advanced Properties. From the Advanced Properties page, we can search on Rich Text to find the attribute that we're concerned with. We see there's an attribute, Enable Extended Rich Text Presentation. I want to bring attention to the Rich Hover here, to the Hover Text. There's a note in here, once this feature is enabled and used, disabling this property does not remove Extended Rich Text content that has been added to work items. So just be aware of that once you've enabled the feature and added some stuff to work items, that stuff is going to stay there, that, that Rich Text, and it might not be supported by editors any longer if you disable the feature. So be, be mindful of that. As you can see, the default is false. I'm going to set that to true so that we can proceed and make use of rich, extended rich text. So I've clicked Save to save that change. Before we leave the admin area, let's edit a project area and add an extended rich text field to our the presentation for our project area. I've already added an attribute to the task work item type, and that attribute is called rich text large HTML. I have not yet added a presentation for that attribute, so let's go to the editor presentations page now. And we'll select task. You can see I've added a tab here called rich text tab, and I've also added a section called rich text section. Now let's just add the presentation for our new attribute. I'll select the attribute name. And the important part here is that the kind of attribute must either be HTML or description if you want that attribute to utilize the rich text editor and support extended rich text ta tags. So I'll select HTML for this case, click OK, and then save the project area. Next, let's go to the web UI and explore some of the the possibilities with the extended rich text feature. I navigated to our project area. Now I'll create a new task so that we can explore the extended rich text features. I've copied a collection of text to my clipboard and I'm going to paste into the description field. That'll just guide us and allow us to try out all the different features of the extended rich text editor. You can see this first one is to change font. We can change the font style. We can also change the font size. Text color is also new, so we can change that to any of the colors here from this palette. Similarly, background color. We can change the background on a piece of text. As in previous releases, bold and italic are possible. And underlined is now possible as well. That's a new extended rich text feature. Strike through as well. So different ways to style your text to provide emphasis. In addition, we have this concept of a horizontal rule, which allows you to divide your document into, logical into a logical structure and provide a division line. We also have this capability to do indent and to increase indent and de decrease indent. So first, I have to increase it to enable the decrease button. So we, we can do that to format our document in a way that we pr we prefer. We also have two different types of lists. There's the bulleted list as well as the numbered list. So let's create a bulleted list from this collection of selected text. And we can add other items as well. Similarly with the numbered list. Remaining features on the toolbar existed in prior versions of RTC. We have the ability to add ex make external links, to insert user links, and to add work item links. These are unchanged from prior releases for the web client. However, there are some interesting things that, that have changed in the Eclipse client. So we'll discuss those when we talk about the Eclipse client. I do want to go to the tab that we created with our other extended rich text field. And we can see that we can enter text in here in the same way, a similar styling. 
Let's save this work item and reuse it in the Eclipse client to have a look at how the features work in that environment. All right, I've saved the work item. And next we'll look at the Eclipse client. I've opened my Rational Team Concert 6.03 Eclipse client. And I'm going to open the same work item that we looked at from the web client. I'm going to maximize this so that we can get a better look. And you can see that these styles are, are generally preserved here. Those are the same ones that we've entered in the web client. And we've got this nice rich toolbar of, of options that's compatible with what we see in the web client. So most of what we see here is, is really quite the same. Let me see if I, I just pasted in some text. And let's just style this one piece of text just to give you an illustration of how this all works in the Eclipse client. Really the same set of steps that we see in the web client. I'm going to change the text color, the background color, the strike through we're going to add, and we're going to add underline. So this is a field that has multiple styles on it. Same thing that you can do in the web client. Something that I did not illustrate in the web client that's available in both clients is that we have undo capability, undo and redo. So if I click undo, it's going to undo the last operation that I performed. And it keeps a stack of these things, so you can keep undoing things well, yep, it's un un undoing things until I completely undo my operation. And then I can redo them as well. And this capability does exist in the web client also. One notable difference that I point mentioned in the web client portion of this is that user links and work item links are a little bit different in the Eclipse client than what you might be used to. You can still type in the name of a user and mention them here. If you'd like, you can bring up a dialog. You specify the at symbol and then press control space. That'll open a dialog that'll allow you to enter a user or search for a user. You can do it that way. And there's also an option here on the toolbar. So in prior releases of the Eclipse client, there really was not even a toolbar at all. So you'd be strictly using your keyboard shortcuts. So there's your user dialog which comes up again using that approach. Similarly with work item links, if you you can start typing in a work item, for example item something, and open up uh, a dialog to select which item you're interested in, <clears throat> and then it'll complete that item for you. Alternatively you can just type in the item and it'll automatically create a link for you. This is compatible with prior releases. I stopped the recording and added this comment to show you some differences in the way Link Hover works. When we're using the Extended Rich Text Client, if we hover over a link, dismissing that link requires that you move the cursor away and click. Whereas in a comment, if you hover over a link, you just move away from the link and the comment is dismissed or the hover is dismissed. Another difference is the content that is displayed for work items. When I hover over a work item in the comments section, I'll get an abbreviated look at what the work item contains. Doing so in the Extended Rich Text Editor provides a more complete listing of what the work item contains. This is compatible with the web client, but is slightly incompatible with prior Eclipse versions. Again, I need to move my cursor away and click to dismiss that dialog. Another difference in the Extended Rich Text Editor is the Find Dialog capability. One thing you'll notice is that the Find Dialog for the Extended Rich Text Editor is different than the Find Dialog for the rest of the Eclipse client. I'll bring the Find Dialog up by using the toolbar. I can also bring the Find Dialog up by clicking the shortcut Control F. But we see that this dialog is different and it is isolated to the content that is within this particular editor. So when I do a find, I'm not searching outside of this editor. I am only searching the description field. Notice that if I put the cursor out here and do a find, I'll get a different dialog and I'll get different behavior as well. So the find dialog that is opened outside of the extended rich text editor does not apply to content within the extended rich text editor. That's a current behavior and possibly a permanent restriction on using the Extended Rich Text Editor within Eclipse. 
The next behavior we will look at is what happens when you use an older client to view and update work items that include rich text content. Here I've opened up an Eclipse client version 6.02. In that version, the extended rich text editor is not present. So let's see what happens when we open up our work item. You see that the content looks presentable, but it doesn't have a full featured editor to make changes to that content. So what happens if we actually try and make changes to that content? But when I click save, I'm given a message. And that message says the work item with ID 222 cannot be saved because the client version cannot modify extended rich text content in the attributes description. So for this case, we're blocked from making changes to this description field. However, we can make changes to other fields in the work item. It's just that extended rich text content that can't be modified. I can change other settings as, does, as always and click Save. So I can still use my N-1 or back-level client to modify work items, but if I want to change extended rich text, I either need to upgrade to 6.03 or higher, or just use the web client to modify the extended rich text field. In addition to these behaviors and limitations we've talked about so far, the RTC development team is tracking additional compatibility issues and odd, you know, unusual behaviors in a work item. Here it's 402146. I want to touch on those quickly. The team is continuing to work through these items and some of the any limitations may be addressed in future releases. Other ones will be documented in a more public place for people to view. We talked about opt-in and opt-out, but drag and drop is not supported on Mac. There are some technical issues there, so be aware of that one. We talked about control F and the find dialog and how, how that's different uh, with the extended rich text editor. Content assist was deferred. This is the way that uh, users can filter and limit visibility to certain work items when they're trying to add a link in the extended rich text editor. We'd like them to be able to quickly search a, a, and find items or users based on content that they've typed in. Users can read over the remaining items in this list. Most of these items have very little impact on the usability of the extended rich text feature. Development in this area is ongoing and incremental enhancements and improvements are likely. I hope this tour of the extended rich text feature was helpful and that the feature will be helpful to your teams. Thank you for watching.